red lipstick is beautiful. Red lipstick is rich. Red lipstick looks beautiful on every single complexion, no matter what. For today's video, I'm going to show you my red lipstick collection because I have quite a few red lipsticks that I've collected for quite some time already and there's, these are lipsticks that are just so beautiful yet so different and they have like their own texture, their own scent, their own undertones which is something that I love about my red lipsticks. Check out this video that I'm going to put right over here if you guys are new to my channel so you guys know about other, other videos. Let's start with one of my favorite lipsticks that I talk about here all the time and that I'm currently wearing right now. I'm wearing the Sephora Collection Always Red Lipstick and this lipstick lipstick tells for $14 so yeah my always red and the formula is really nice and rich this lipstick looks good on every single complexion from the lightest to the darkest and that's one of the things that I love about this lipstick it was honestly one of the best sellers in Sephora and we sold this like crazy at least I did because that's how much I loved it I'm gonna swatch all of them so you guys can see see how just rich it is how beautiful it is and I have a refill because this one is almost dry. What new one? All right, next lipstick that I find that it's very very similar to the Sephora collection Always Red, but it's more on the affordable side is the I Love Sarai collab with ColourPop. And you guys know if you guys don't know ColourPop, ColourPop is very affordable. I learned about ColourPop through Erica because she was the one that discovered it back when it was like I think when they had like a hundred k followers. When it was like brand new and the lipsticks were like $4.50, I believe. Now they're $6, which is still not bad for the product that you get and the quality. Moving forward now, they have over like 6 million followers and they have so many collections and so many collabs with a lot of people. It's actually kind of crazy to see them grow in the way that they did, but it's, it's really cool too. So this one is, I think, very similar to... But then again, when you put them, like, side by side, like, you start seeing, like, La Diferencia. Like, you're, like, cuando lo ves, like, with a nuda, you're, like, oh, that kind of looks similar. I think that would look similar to this, this and that. Pero when you put them side by side, that's when you really see, like, the difference. So let's swatch this one. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's still red, but this one has a little bit more of, like, blue tone and this one has a little bit more of like a orangey undertone this is one of the lipsticks that i would recommend for anyone to try again they're always put on sale so just wait for the sale when they're on sale they're like four dollars and eighty cents amazing price then another one would be something that is like comparable to that price but sort of like in the middle of sephora collection in the middle of ColourPop would be the one that I'm doing in the giveaway. This is the Flower Beauty Lipstick. I forgot to say the name of this on the on the video, but this one, se llama Scarlet Letter. And this one is so nice, too. The formula is very similar to... It's like an in-between Sephora collection and in-between ColourPop. Because it's like creamy, but it's not like too dry, but it's like moisturizing, and it smells really good. And there it is. Actually, now that I look at it, it does look very similar to the Sephora collection one, but this one looks a little bit more like, um, like more true to a red color as opposed to the Sephora collection that looks a little bit orangey. And this one has a nice scent to it too. This one retails for ten or twelve dollars, something like that. The other one that you guys already saw me wear on my other video was the MUA Makeup Academy. This is the color bright red and this one actually retails for eight dollars I believe and I also got it on sale from Dwayne Reed. It has a really nice minty scent. It's not super bright but it's more like on the pinkier side. Like it has like a, a little bit of a pink undertone compared to these right over here. Okay, the next one that I have is from Soap and Glory and it's called Sexy Motherfucker. I don't usually use this one a lot, only when I want like a little bit of gloss because this one's a little bit more of a shiny finish. Yes, to say I'm a riot. The formula is a little bit more like runny, like more como like a gloss sort of and it's supposed to like turn into sort of like a lip stain but not be like completely dry. This is what it looks like. I'm not a big fan of like glosses, especially this one because it's like more like como sticky and then when your hair gets in the way like se pega and it's like oh so annoying but like this one I would wear if I'm gonna wear my hair up and there's no wind because there's no way that I want this on my hair it's like nasty the other lipsticks that I have are not lip stains these are like lipstick lipsticks 
This is from Makeup Forever, a rouge artist intense, and it doesn't even say the color. That's how long I've had it for. Maybe I shouldn't use it anymore. The formula is really nice. It's very comfortable to wear. So if you don't like something that's more drying, like a lip stain, I would suggest to get something like this one. This one has a little bit more of a blue undertone. It's very comfortable to wear, like I said. So if, if you're someone that doesn't like something dry on your lips, buy something like this. This other one, I also got it on sale. See, I love buying stuff on sale because like, what's the point of paying full price if like in two weeks or three weeks, everything goes on sale, so I might as well wait. So it's there from Sephora Collection. This is from their Lip Stories collection that they did, and it was so pretty. They have so many colors, but at the time that I went, because it was on sale, there was a lot of lipsticks that were not available. So I was only able to get this one because it was the only color that I liked. Anyhow, this is a color. I feel like this would be my color. Like sometimes like an everyday color, like if I want to wear a little bit red, I just like dab it a little bit around my whole lip. And so I'm kind of wearing a little bit of a red lipstick, but not like intense, intense. Next would be something that I actually got when... So when you shop at Sephora, I don't know if around the areas that you guys live in, like como in Mexico, I'm pretty sure, yeah, like in Mexico and like other places donde encuentra Sephora. When you sign up to become a beauty insider, no sé cómo se llama en Spanish, like a... Como, como ser miembro of the beauty insider system, you start get, getting points for the purchases that you make, right? So primero empieza siendo beauty insider, then very important beauty insider. And then uh, rouge, which means like you're like the top, like you spend like a thousand dollars within the year, which is kind of crazy. This is the one that you get once you qualify to become a rouge. And this is the Marc Jacobs red lipstick. And I haven't used it, it's very new. Just because, I don't know, I don't like to use my lipsticks when they're new, but I am gonna swatch it. So. Mira. So the formula feels very nice, very, like it glide on very easily. And again, it's more like a lipstick. If I'm looking at it like directly, it looks more like a bluish undertone rather than having like orangey tones. Then another one that I do have, that's also like a little sampler, tiny, tiny one that I have from Bite. Now this came in like a little collection of like a nude lipstick, another um, like orangey tone lipstick, and then this red one. Y este se llama Gaspacho from Bite Beauty and I really love their lipsticks a lot because they're like made with like natural ingredients so when they go on they feel really really good and one of the selling points that they always used to tell us is because like they're made with like natural ingredients like if this gets in your mouth like when you're eating and you have lipstick on like it's okay because I mean at the end of the day the products that we are wearing I think un pelo hold please wait no hay nada I'm tripping. Doesn't really have a scent as much, but it is beautiful. It's very, very bright. Oh my God, that's a good shot. So you see how this one hasn't even dried yet? Yeah. And then the red, the top row is like matte mattes, and then the bottom are a little more like sheer, um, more comfortable formulas to wear. Last but not least, I have a little tiny, tiny one that I loved so much. And as you can tell, like, I really loved it because it's like, it's barely hanging on. Like, ya casi, ya casi está pa morir. Oh, me, that's not even sharpened. But anyways, this was one of, like, our favorites at Sephora with all the employees. This is before the whole scandal of, like, NARS tests on animals and all of that stuff before. So this one was one of the favorites from everyone from where I worked at Sephora and also our clients because the more you wear it the people see it and like our customers would see it they'd be like oh what color lipstick are you wearing so we would sell this like a lot as well so este is from NARS y se llama Cruella it's a velvet matte and what it means that like it has a comfortable texture but it's still like matte but it's not necessarily like a lip stain if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna use this very little that's around here still and what I like about these is because it was like a pencil, if you sharpen it like very sharp, you can use this both as a lip liner and as a lip stick. So you don't have to like, you know, like get a lip liner and then the lipstick. It's a little bit more of a bluish undertone, but at the same time, it still has a little bit of red. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, it's very hard to express. Like they're not, you understand what I'm saying, right? They're not the same. Red lipsticks are not the same. Same way as like nude lipsticks are not all the same. They're not made all the same and like it just is what it is. 
ironically enough, as much as as what the fuck am I trying to say? Ironically enough, even though I do have a lot of red lipsticks, I actually don't have a lot of red. I actually don't have a lot of red lip liners. So the only ones that I do have is this one from Sephora collection, and this is from part of their Nano collection, which means like they're like the little tiny ones. Este se llama Lip Liner To Go. It se llama Classic Red, number three. Can we swatch this? Here it is. There it is. Nice, bright red color. And I feel like as long as you have like one or two lip liners that are sort of similar to the red, like in the red family, you'd be okay. Like you don't, you don't need to go crazy and have like a bunch. And then this one that I used today, this one I actually found at TJ Maxx. I don't know if I showed it to you guys at one point, but I did. This is from Stila Stay All Day Lip Liners. And Stila Lip Liners and Eyeliners are one of the best liners that I personally like. So this is why I decided to buy this one. This is what it looks like. And what I like about this one is that I don't have to sharpen it. It's retractable. So, you know, all the product is right there. You want to make sure you always keep the lid on because if you don't keep the lid on, it dries y te jodiste, like you don't have a lip liner. When my sister actually gave it to me it was part of like a little collection i have so many reds i don't want to open it so this could probably be something that i put on a, on a giveaway next time uh este se llama red rose and this is from crown beauty i got this when i went to when we went to the makeup show brand new i haven't even opened it because again i have so many reds i don't want to open it este se llama caliente wow that's a really nice name so i'm thinking that i can do a giveaway with this one and this one in the near future Actually, you know what? I was thinking like, you guys have been really active on Instagram. I have been very, como se dice, like engaging. Like we've been th we've been talking through Instagram, which I thank you a lot. And also for the people who are sharing my videos with their friends. I was thinking that I want to do, I also want to do a giveaway on Instagram at the same time that I'm doing this giveaway here on YouTube. So one of the, I think we'll do this one because it's a nice big lipstick and it's it looks very beautiful and it's caliente, obviously. So voy a incluir este en the giveaway that we'll do on Instagram. It'll be uh, the giveaway at the same time. So los giveaways van a ser al mismo tiempo. Uno en YouTube y uno en Instagram para que tengamos dos ganadoras. Wouldn't that be like amazing? So I want to make it even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, actually make a purchase from Ulta. And I'm going to purchase a the Morphe, you know, the Morphe Little Sponge. Mira, la mía está bien sucia. Like, el cochina, la vana. It's just, it's been hanging in my makeup bag. So ya se ensucia, but yeah. I don't think I'll be able to find the palette there, but I will find one that's like similar to it, like similar price and similar um, tones so that we can have sort of like two of the same giveaways and we'll have one on YouTube and one on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think that's a really good idea. I just think that it's really great that we are getting to know each other through YouTube and through Instagram and that we can share both of our passions for red lipstick or maybe just for makeup. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a good shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. And give your life to the fullest with these red lips.